back in the garden as usual doing my walk through and I'm just checking out what's going on in the garden checking on what I planted and the randoms there's a random tomato tree that I just kind of pruned and mulched up a little bit I have some squash growing here and they're looking really really good because back here I do get some partial sunlight so it's not you know really burnt up by the heat that has been coming our way lately my onions are doing fine I have another squash here that seems to be a zucchini I didn't mark that one and I have some brassicas going that are doing quite okay now today this video is about this Egyptian walking onions and look how much that these have grown up top here we have some bulbs and they are smaller bulbs so the Egyptian walking onion does not bulb at the bottom but they bulb at the top and this is actually family with the shallow or shallots whatever you choose to call it but look at the size of this all the way down it's about approximately four feet tall and these are naturally grown all I used in here was some composted chicken manure with natural materials like leaves and spent weeds in the garden and I composted it and I just added it here so I'm just going to pull this out to really show you that there's not a bulb at the bottom as you can see but the entire plant can be used what happens here is that the top grows out those bulbs they are smaller bulbs a bunch of smaller bulbs and these are undeveloped but what happens it gets heavy after a while and it drops down to the ground and wherever it hits it stays right there right on the ground there and it just sends out roots and hence the reason it's called walking onions because that's pretty much what it's doing it drops down and it just roots right there but this is a bunch of them I have I'm gonna be pulling out some to thin it out because they grow a lot each year and I do get a pretty good harvest so if you're not growing these you should because it's the gift that keeps on giving and look how tall it is I have it here at my shed door and it's right at the base here and look how it's like halfway up the door so that's like I said approximately four feet tall so I'm gonna harvest some of these chop it up and air dry it. then I can add it to my seasoning mixes I can use it in stews and in soups and I can also add it to my stock when I'm making my chicken stock or my turkey stock I can use it however I choose to use it it makes a pretty good season and is full of flavor and has really good health benefits as always thank you for watching and if you have the space try to grow some Egyptian walking onions you'll have it for a lifetime peace